Hi, I'm Vinod. I'm an assistant engineer from Structures Flight. I'm like a doctor of sorts, an aircraft doctor, or at least I'd like to think so. You'll see the similarity soon. There are two main roles to my job, to carry out non-destructive inspection of aircraft structures as well as perform structural repairs. There are a variety of methods I can use to inspect the structure. Let me take you through some of the more commonly used methods. It's going to get a little technical here, so hold on tight. First, we have ultrasonic inspection. Remember I said I'm like a doctor? Well, here's my stethoscope. This thing here transmits and receives high-frequency sound energy through the aircraft structure. If there is a discontinuity in the wave path, like a crack, the signal is disrupted and captured on the display. This allows me to know that there is a flaw and I will then send the aircraft for repair. Another method that we use is eddy current inspection. This applies the principle of electromagnetic induction, where eddy currents that flow in a circular path are induced in the material under inspection. If there is a break in this circular field, then there could be a flaw and the aircraft may need to be repaired. And like a regular doctor, I also use the X-ray to diagnose my patient. Before taking the X-ray, the X-ray film has to be packed and prepared in a dark room, similar to that of a photography dark room. A lot of preparation has to be made before an X-ray can be taken. First, the X-ray machine has to be set up. Then, the patient has to be prepared. Once the X-ray has been taken, the film is placed through the X-ray film processing machine. Using X-rays help us to inspect the internal structure for defects such as cracks or corrosions, and also to check for foreign objects within the structure. Once the patient has been diagnosed accordingly, using the various methods, it is sent for repairs. Less extensive repair work can be done by engineers like me. To me, my job is very crucial. If I miss out on defects and certify the aircraft fit for flight, the repercussions could be catastrophic. So it is important that I be focused and be sure not to leave out anything, just like a doctor. I love the fact that I get to work so closely with different aircraft and learn about their structures. I play my part in ensuring the aircraft is mission ready and the fact that I am able to contribute to my nation's defence is something that I am very proud of.